Okay, so before you start building your world, I want you to add all the groups in alt space. Now, the reason for that is because they share galleries, worlds, and templates for you. So you need to do that first. So you're going to go to altvr.com. You're going to sign in with the same sign in that you use for alt space. This isn't your Oculus login. This is going to be whatever you use for alt space. So once you're in here, I want you to go to more and I want you to go to groups. Now this is going to be very tedious. You got to do it over and over and over and over. And you're going to click all. This is every group out there. Now there's three pages. I think the last time I was in there was only two. So what you're going to do is you're going to start at the top and you're going to go work your way all the way down to all three pages. And you want to add them all because they all have shared kits, templates, and all of that. So you're going to start at Optic. And then you're going to hit Join. Once you hit Join, it's going to come up and say, are you sure you want to do this? Say yes. No, this is a group. Then you're going to go back. Then you're going to go to the next one. And you're going to hit Join. You're going to hit OK. You're going to go back twice. You're going to go to the next one. And as you can see, I've already joined that one, but you're going to continue to do it over and over and over um, till you get all of them added. Once you've got everything added in here, make sure you do add them all. Uh, you're going to do page one, then you're going to go to page two, and you're just going to continue the same exact process. As you can see, I've already added um 99.999 of all of these groups i've already added so once you've added all of that you're just gonna give it an hour maybe an hour and a half max and then all of the assets are going to be showing up how can you tell if you have their assets well if you go here and you go to templates and kits either one Kits are going to be individual items like a lamp or a table. Templates are going to be worlds, um, racetracks, uh, galleries, waterfall worlds, etc. So um, as a matter of fact, I don't think I have kings in here. Let me add kings. Oh, I didn't even add kings. It's one of them I needed to join. He's the guy who created my nightclub. Um, okay, so anyways, once you've added everybody, uh, you're going to wait an hour and then you're going to hit uh, in your Oculus, you can do it, or you can do it here. Um, you're going to go to templates, and you're going to see what's shared with you right up here. So when I hit shared, this is everything that's shared with me. Apartments and houses and lounges and high rises and Hawaii Island and a you know Learjet and a diner and so on and so on and so on. Once I've got all of this stuff, then I can also check there's a private jet here, pyramid house and so on. Um, once I check that, I'm going to go to kits. Now, again, kits being certain ones. So I'm going to see what's shared with me. When you go into kits via the website, you can actually see what's inside a kit. Unfortunately, you can't really search in Oculus. Um, so you would you could do it here. You could search up here on the top menu. Or you can look in here if you go down the list and be like, I want to know what Alex has in a shared kit. You can open up Alex and you can see there is uh, downtown, looks like a light memory. So these are all paintings of what they have, right? If I want to go back and I want to go down and go, well, what is, um, let me go back to one that I know for sure. It has good stuff. Okay, go here. Um, what does Cox and Cox have? Okay, well, I'll click on that one and then go here and it's like, oh, okay, a lamp, a bed table I'd probably need those so that's your kits your templates are going to be again the homes the worlds and locations that you're going to build your galleries and so on once you've noticed that they're in there then you can begin by creating a world so we're actually going to go one through one together um we're going to hit more we're going to hit worlds and in here I'm just going to create a brand new world. So I'm going to go to my worlds on top. 
Uh, we already have universes. The universe is a multiple layer of things, right? Um, I separate by category. This is my awakening, spiritual enlightenment. This is my music world, and this is more my metaverse world. So let's just say that I'm going to create one in the metal or world or in the music world. I have too many in the music world, as you can see. I have all of these that I've created. So let's take a step back. And let's go to Metalore. And we just create a gallery. You know, let's just, I have, that's one thing I have not done. I've got a studio, I've got expos, I got everything else. So let's just create a world. Okay. So I'm going to go in here and create a brand new world. Give it a name. That's the most important thing. Remember, this is how people are going to find you. So look, I always use meta with everything meta villa, meta this, meta that. So I'm going to call this meta. Um, I'm going to, call it, I already have the word meta lore, so I don't want to do that. So let's put meta um, gallery. And you can change it later. And meta lore gallery of worlds. So I'll showcase different worlds. Um, uh, meta world gallery. Let's call it that better so people can check it out. Now, when you go here, you can do an image. You don't have to. It could do a default. Um, you know, you can just add any image that you have on your phone, on your computer. Um, if you really want to add one, let's just add one just for the hell of it. Let's just do world gallery. I spelled it incorrectly, but that's okay. I'm just going to grab an image. Um, I'll do something like this, you know, just simple, something different. So let me just save this. I'm just right clicking the image and hitting save. I'm going to call it a gallery going to go back to alt space and then I'm going to choose my file. Now it's in my downloads. So I'm going to just add gallery and then the top menu will actually change uh, once you save it to that. You can make the world private for now. So nobody can, you know, can uh, go into it at all. You can leave it unlisted so nobody can find you. If you don't do anything, it stays public. That's what you're going to do. Uh, now, before you hit create world, here are your templates. Now I'm looking for a gallery, right? Um, exhibition hall, art gallery. So I'm looking for anything that has the word gallery in it. High rise, home spa, you know, mansion. And again, we're looking for gallery. So you're just going to go down the list and you can always change it. It does not stay forever. If you choose one and you don't like it, just go back and select a different, um, um, a different world and it'll change for you. So going down the list, there's so many to look at. Um, once you've got these in here, you can actually go into Oculus under your worlds um, and under my worlds, as you would say, and then you can just open these and see what they look like. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, so I'm in a Windows, actually I'm in a Mac PC, but you can do it in Windows. I'm just going to type the word gallery um, just to see what keywords I have. Now, those are only three words that I have here that I found. Um, it did not find one here. So I'm just going to basically start with art gallery. Hey, it's simple. It has the word gallery in it. Why not? Now, the one I was hoping to use was Artsy's uh, gallery because Artsy has an amazing um, set of worlds that are pretty cool. But just for the hell of it, let's just do art gallery. Um, I'm going to hit that. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm going to hit create world. Now, once we've created the world, it's going to take a second and it's going to be ready. Now I can hit the word enter and then it'll open up on my computer alt space because I have alt space running. The problem with running it on a Mac is you don't get to see all the cool things, but I don't really care because I'm actually just sharing with you guys. So I'm going to open up alt space, which I believe you should be able to see it. All of these messages on people sending me messages. There we go. Um, when you're in alt space, when you're in Oculus, you're just going to go to your worlds. You're going to go to my worlds. And then you're going to go through now because you have all of these shared templates that are going to show up in, in your spaces. And it's a lot. So for me, I know that I'm on page five and six of my stuff once I get past all those shared spaces. Um, if they don't serve your purpose, you can actually remove those uh, by just hitting remove. Um, but I'm going to go through, I'm going to go here. Um, and, uh, let's go ahead and click on, keep going through my gallery. Hopefully you can still see the screen. I'll verify in the video if you guys can still see the screen, cause I know it switched, um, it switched windows. 
Um, and if you still can't, if you can't see it, then you can see I now have a gallery template with nothing in it. And it's empty and I have a lot of wall space and I now can do what I need to do in regards to being able to fill my gallery, which that is another step. Once you've got the world that you already have set, hopefully you're able to see that. If you weren't able to see that, I apologize because I did switch to another screen. But basically, in short, if you didn't get to see it, you go into Oculus and you go into My Worlds and then you can select your saved world, which is going to be there. Mine's called the Meta World Gallery. So that's what it would be. And you can go in there if you didn't get to see that part of the video. Um, so say you have a gallery. Uh, the next thing would be is you have to populate it with photos. And that is a very tedious job. What you would do is you would go to photos and you literally would upload every single photo that you have. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to go to that gallery photo that you saw me download, the kosher gallery. I'm going to upload it and I'm going to give it a name and I'll just call it uh, gallery pick, uh, pick one. Now, after a while, if you have thousands of photos, it's going to get tedious. So just give it a one, two, three, four, five. Don't even worry about typing it. If you really want to be organized, you can say gallery dash photo, yada, yada. But again, when you do one or two, it's not a big deal. When you do thousands of them, you don't even care. You're like one, two, three, four, five. So I create the photo. Once the photo is created, it's there. And when it's here, I can go into Oculus and I can then upload the photo into my gallery. That is another video showing you how to edit and upload photos. I will do a video on that. But for now, go through and upload every photo. Maybe it's photos of your friends you want for your world. Maybe it's photos of whatever interests you. So again, the steps are going to be upload, choose file wherever your files are, even if you do it on your phone. Let's just do selfie. I know that's one I did. Um, and I'll just call this selfie. Create a photo. Then you don't have to do the hashtag unless you really want to. There you go, that one. Um, and then you can upload it. Now, where are your photos? You can just check my photos. And then you can see every photo. Ones that I've taken in Metaverse and ones that I've uploaded. And so on and so on. So there's a lot of photo uploads that will be very tedious. And if you have thousands of photos, you have to do it one by one. There is no way to batch a lot of photos. You just have to do it one by one by one by one here on the website. And then when you are ready, then you can go into Altspace via Oculus and see your photos within the application and the world that you need. And I will make a video on how to upload your photos and so on. But for now, that is how you upload photos. That's how you create worlds. And the first thing you want to do again is you want to go to groups and you want to do all and you want to add and join every group in here because then you get all their free kits and all their free templates, you know, so you don't have to start from scratch and create your own world from scratch because that would be you need to learn how to program in Unity. And 99% of us don't program in Unity. It's a very complex program that does take time to learn. So why reinvent the wheel, take what's out there already, and then build worlds from that in a quick and less painful way to do it. There are designers and artists in Altspace and in Metaverse that can create worlds for you. An example, the nightclub that I have created was created by King's Creations, and he has shared items in here. Um, this one here and a couple other ones that I know that he created um, that you can use. He creates a beautiful home. Artsy is a top designer, but she is very busy. If you want the best of the best of the best of the best and are looking to spend a lot of money and don't really have a budget in mind, but you're willing to just drop cash, Artsy is definitely the person to go to. King's Creations, he is budget minded, reasonably priced and makes amazing worlds. He really, really knows his stuff. There are many other designers out there. Optic is one of them. He does great designs. Anything that you see shared in here, a lot of them are, are designers that have been doing it for a while. And you can reach out to them directly and have them build something for you. But like I stated, um, this is where you want to start when you want to start creating worlds. 
adding photos, establishing your footwork within Metaverse. And uh, hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, leave a comment, let me know. And I, if I can help, I can help. All right, thanks again.